Right, so this is our first Amiga Zill Wheel game for Wednesday, and it is simply called Dozer. I don't think I've played this one before. I have no idea what this is all about. So, let's dive in. Probably best to read the instructions. So, this is a shoot 'em up game. You shoot things, and that's it. Actually, that would be a weird title for a shoot 'em up game. Okay, well, I've got a pad and pen on standby. Ooh, okay. What, what's going on here? Got a dozer, we got a Stegosaurus thin. Um, okay, left mouse, space, or fire for next page, right mouse, or shift for previous page. How many pages are there? Okay, this feels more like a story than some basic instructions. My master, Lord Oswatch, lives in a big old castle. He it stands in the mountains between the horizon and the edge of the world. Oh yeah, I've been there. You know how you ask for directions, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's uh, somewhere in the edge of the world. That is an incredibly phallic looking nose. Uh, my name is Phoebe. His Lordship's for what's going on in the music? His Lordship's former butler. Allow me to explain your duties to you. The only service you need perform is to look after his lordship's pets. Oh, this looks like an AJ version. Uh, I had an OCS one that didn't have any of this. Oh, that's weird because I am running this on OCS, just on an A500 setup, one meg. Maybe, I was going to say, was this game part of a compilation uh, on a cover disc, perhaps? And they didn't have enough room to put in all this stuff. Uh, this pet is a red Spinosaurus named Mon. It often escapes from his cage, so you will need to capture it again. Why do I get the feeling that this is this story is going to be better than the rest of the game? Just had a bogged version? Okay. Uh, since Spinosauruses are rather dangerous, you may use his Lordship's Dozer for this purpose. Yours, Phoebe. Okay, so we've established that's why it's called Dozer. Excellent. Okay, good to know we can use the joystick. So S to speed uh, up mod, okay. Enter or help to store position. I hope it's not gonna be a case of me writing down all the rules and then the case and then the hours up. You rub the feeb against the plants. Uh, press M to look at the map. Press space to toggle, toggle the turbo mode. So what happens if we press S to speed up the monster and space? Do we, does he go like super fast? Uh, blocks can be pushed into spaces if they are marked with arrows by holding down push and moving in a direction. Go. Gold blocks slide when pushed. I uh, don't think I'm gonna know all this. Um, holes eat blocks. Spinners rotate blocks. Multiways add arrows. Uh, lock immobilizes blocks. So 
So is it sort of like Soka Ban or like um, Exit? Turns gold to grey, turns grey to gold. Try my best to remember all that. Only the Dozer and Mon can cross red tiles. They also affect Mon's behaviour. There's one just called Cage. Oh, do you have to get him in the cage? Also, what's the point of blank? They also affect Mon's behaviour, except the blank one, which doesn't do anything. And when Mon escapes it, it runs all over the castle. You must capture Mon 100 times. Good luck with that. Um, you can choose to try the locations in any order. Once you're good enough, then play the locations in order to be awarded passwords. Every 16 passwords unlock one of the six special levels. The last of these unlock the end game levels. <laughs> Just put him down. Yeah. <laughs> He's a lost cause. Oh, just look after him. Don't be like, oh, we got a pet, just, just have him move around and stuff. Okay, point to a castle and click on an area to play. So it doesn't seem like we have to do the levels in order. We can sort of like pick and stuff. At least that would be good. We can sort of explore more of the game that way, even if we do screw up. The music is questionable. Pressing enter will help we will restart the game from store position. Point at the uh, short symbol on the left to read card pass. Okay. It's, it's just getting a bit overkill now. Uh, Spinosaurus normally like to follow walls unless there is a diversion. Diversion being a tranquilizer dart. Uh, on special levels, Mon will behave strangely if it walks into a blank red tile. I mean, that was already established a few screens before. Remember to store your position often. If thinking forward fails, then think backwards. And if that fails, don't think at all. I've got credits as well? Okay. That's awesome. Well done, guys. Except, except uh, Josie. You suck for the music. Sorry. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Spin the source also wants you to access your location house for your credit card CVC number. Yeah. Actually, the music's alright. I have heard worse. Oh, yeah, our usual Motley crew people and green and insect alien okay awesome I mean awesome that we can finally get into the game hopefully I mean, at this stage, I would have loved if it was a book. Uh, okay, here we go. Click on a level to play. So... Oh, okay. Just noticing the levels will change depending on where we go. Okay, and this is the game. Um, oh, do we... So push those blocks. Uh, Mon got your dozer. Okay, so don't make contact with Mon. No, I think he, I think he killed us. I, I think he's bigger than us. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So fire and direction pushes the block. Okay. So then he bounces off that. And the arrow is going only that direction, it seems. Can we crush him? I mean, that would just... That that would be fine, wouldn't it? Like, it it's not getting anywhere. <laughs> now we can... Yeah, we'd, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was more intentional. I was gonna say it's, it's not. It's quite a smooth game. It's uh, presentation ain't bad. Oh, I think we. I think we botched this up. <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to pretend to be a wall. Okay. Unicron, how's it going? Have to put yourself in the cage to keep safe from the diner. Is that how it is? That should do the trick then. They'll go to the... There we go. So you, so you got... Like, I did actually like how he said you got to do that a hundred times. So that's probably the only level that we're going to beat. Okay, so it looks like the only block we can push is the green one. And what did the um, instructions say? You can't push them in these blocks. This may actually have been on a Assassin's cover disc as well. It, it, it vaguely rings a bell. Um, well, I do appreciate having... Well, it seems like we've got infinite time on it. Oh, do we just do that? Oh, oh, okay. I looked like it was going in there then. So, okay, we kind of screwed that one up, didn't we? Pay attention to your amazing writing. Can you hit? Okay, can you hit escape. Good.
There we go. Okie dokie. Awesome. Sphinxy, how's it going? Uh, this is like the game Troddlers. I Troddlers rings a bell. Have I played Troddlers? Is that when you have to guide um, uh, little people kind of like with lemons, but sits like top down pushing blocks as well? It, yeah, it ring, vaguely rings a bell. Oh, come on, game. <laughs> it's too much of a level here. So we can, I'm guessing we can't push them from there. It will, it'll, yeah, soft lock the level anyway. They're not abuse harmless. It is definitely not harmless. I've forgotten what that block did. It's almost like a Zelda thing, you know, going down the stairs. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, Peter would be just like coming over. We've heard you are trying to get this uh, very harmless, defenseless, and then it starts roaring and eating people. It's like, Ah, screw that. Screw the tranquilizers. Get the shotguns out. I mean, can't we just leave him be? He's just like, uh, he's just doing a little race, isn't he? So these can only go in one direction, I guess. <laughs> Was I close? Okay. Oh, these are... So they could only go... Hang on. So they can only go that way and that way. Okay, so you can't go back up. Oh, you can press... Oh, that's not... I mean, it's kind of useful, but the graphics are a little bit too small for the map. So we want to pull, we want to push that block. Up there, don't we? Except we can't, we can only push that one down. We have to do it with the other block. Yeah, that's the thing. If they if later levels are gonna get even larger than this, then that's not gonna be much fun. I could just see myself using the map like multiple times. Then he'll go down. We can try other levels, so I think we'll be doing that. <laughs> 
I like how that starts off really easy. Like these are allegedly the easier ones. Um, slippery when wet. Travel by tube. Yeah, this um is this feels like a puzzle game for the more advanced thinkers out there. I reckon. What's that? Page twenty one. Okay, I have to check that out. Where's it going now? I kind of wish that there was a time limit on this one, actually. Because then it will give me a rough indicator of how quickly I should do the level. Annoying. As he gets into that bit, I kind of just want to find a way to track him there, but can't think of a block that does that. Because I need to go in like, specific directions. Oh, that goes that way. That sucks. These are, uh, yeah, very, very, very tricky. Well struck down. And I get the feeling they're not going to throw us an easy, like, you know, throw us a bone kind of level somewhere. Long got your dozer. Okay, this this one looks a bit varied. And aside from these blocks, I've got a rough idea what they do. And the gold ones are like the white ones, but they are more slidey. Then you go in like one direction, except for those ones. Or a certain direction. Demi, hello, how you doing? Hope all is well. I don't know, this level kind of reminds me of um, enter, your, enter your initials and you saw like select a symbol or letter. Oh, 
Oh, okay, Jake, you take uh, you take care of yourself. See you in a bit. Uh, it's got more animation frames on its walk cycle than Apprentice in the whole game. I tried to remember the Apprentice. Was that the platformer? With um, Chris Holzbeck's uh, music soundtrack in there? Because I thought that one was alright. I thought the trick was just to stack as many blocks up here, but then I realised there's a down arrow on that bit. So yeah, probably wouldn't work. But with something that made us doze off. Jungly, Crusade, Ice and a Slice. Whirlpool, sounds cool. Ooh, a very goldy level. So, yeah, honestly, first impressions, it's it's very presentable. Obviously, they put in a lot of, um, you know, this isn't one they just sort of slapped together and just thought, yeah, this will do. Obviously, a lot of time and effort has gone into each of these levels. Um, I'll say this much. It gets a little bit too tricky a little bit too tr uh, quickly. Like, the first couple of levels were all right. I think they needed a lot more like tutorial levels and things like um like going back to um what exit did you know or um what was it called zonked back then where they sort of like introduced a few blocks at a time and then they introduced like different blocks different items and then once you did all that it's like okay let's um you know, let's put them all together and then, you know, make a, eventually make it difficult. But uh, this just really, I'm not a fan of the way they gave us all the instructions all in one go. I feel like for games to work, they need to, like, into introduce things as the game is progressing. You know, like telling someone the rules, like with a board game, like telling someone the rules straight away just here's, here's 20 pages of the rules i'm just going to list them all off and i expect you to know everything after that it doesn't really work like that for me it's like um you need to explain a little bit more of the game as the levels progress you know like with uh lemmings like here's this skill okay here's this skill and here's this skill now we're going to make a few challenging levels but it's nothing too difficult and then you know it gets tougher there but um yeah not to, not to say this is a bad thing it's just um i guess it's for the more um the more patient i suppose uh well well paul sounds cool unlike school which is boring <laughs> uh, school's fun I like to think it was the teachers that got fed up with you. So there's Demi. Try to stay awake. Take C injections. 
Three headed monkey. Hello, thank you for the five stream streak. And yeah, welcome on in. Hope all is well. We are playing a very tricksy do uh, game called a dozer. So yeah, nicely presented, but a little bit too uh, ruthless from the get go. You always liked school? Did school always like you? I mean, he's, he's kind of trapped there already. I mean, sure, he's probably claustrophobic, won't get any food or air. But at least he's contained. Oops. Well, I guess we deserve that. Uh, what's that fun place to meet and hang around with friends? Makes you makes me wonder why you liked school. Leaky roof. Also, I know I'm I know I'm kind of asking for trouble. Because it's like, okay, I can't figure out this level. Let's try an even more difficult level. It's obviously not going to work, is it? But yeah, a lot, a lot of attention has gone into this. I'm trying to remember if the one I played on the Assassins compilation had, um, had this many levels, or maybe it was a shareware version. We just gave you like a handful. I, I can't remember because if if the former, that's um you know that's a very generous offering to give us you know that bigger game. Been less fun since you got out of school. Um. Okay, not fair enough. I think I was kind of like underwhelmed with it. I thought. You know, now, now that I like finally get out of school, I'll be like, yeah, life's going to be great. And um, it, it really isn't. Oh. Excuse me. Mother escaped the castle? Okay. Let's try the... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I do wonder how we get stuck in these sorts of, in these sort of scenarios. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. So those um actually, they change the box. Okay. Cool. So what's going on here? Is it like a race against time before monster, the monster ends up somewhere? Oh, I see. Okay, I did wonder what that um screen did. Okay. Oh, you want a sticker on my display? I don't know. I feel like such things kind of like distract people. 
But then again, you know, some people like distractions. So it's almost like we have to react immediately. There we go. I think that's done it. Oh no, we just <laughs> nope. We just uh, changed it a bit. Okay, never mind. Let's try something else. Oh, you mean on my actual display, so only I can see it. But that would distract me. I don't. I don't want to be in the middle of a game and then just see this like pink tentacles thing just going, hey, look at me. So yes, I can see you, sticker you. No, don't, 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 don't agree with Demi, I'll just encourage him. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine the, the teacher saying that quite often. Oh, okay. I keep getting confused because the red blocks, they do look like they'll just like completely block you off, but you can actually go through them. Right, so lots of areas for the monster to escape from. Was that you don't want to see me? I mean, you're close. I mean, the word never is more preferable. Okay, so it looks like we've only got these blocks to play around with. I mean, it seems easier than the, level, than the last levels, but uh, yes, we're going to find out. I think we messed this one up already. Oh. Yeah, this this rec all well, I was gonna say a lot of these a lot of these levels are gonna require a lot of uh, forward planning, aren't they? Fantastic voyage. This is nice. Oh, okay. Let me guess. Is it going to be a level... Is this level 69? Or is it just going to have like 69 on the map? Or something like that? Um. Okay. I don't know why it's called nice then. Big open space, mind you. Wait, you could speed up the game by pressing space. There we go. 
Well, that's the end of that. And just, just imagine like just visiting the zoo and all the monkeys just like, oh no, it's him. Avert thy eyes. For he hath many. I actually forgot what those um diamond ones do. They turn, turn him about, do they? Oh wait, that's not advisable. <laughs> Cucumber sandwich. The whole the whole story, okay. I don't think we have access to these ones. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. I thought we had to complete the majority of the levels to have access to the very like last ones. My God, this looks <laughs> this looks like um, just like a map editor, and someone just clicked on random on all the blocks. All I can say is this: the guy, the owner of uh, Mon. Must be incredibly wealthy to just like <laughs> dig up patches of land just to create his own personal puzzles. <laughs> it feels like that. I mean, I guess there's a there's a there's a bit of logic to this one, but yeah, it's just like someone just clicked on a block, closed their eyes, and just went to town. Can we safely say that this isn't a bad game? I feel like it was designed for geniuses. And uh, I don't think Jake's around, is he? He had to go somewhere. But he was the one that submitted this. It makes me wonder how far he's gotten into this one as well. Like if he's like spent like days on end figuring out the levels. Like whoever designed these levels must have like a super high high IQ level. He just made the mistake of um <laughs> thinking that other people had the same IQ levels as they tried to solve them. I, yeah, that, um, that is true, that is very true, but um, it was just that like the earlier, like even like some of the earlier levels took a lot of forward thinking as well. So what I'm saying is I don't mind puzzle games when they gradually get to this sort of insane difficulty. It was just like with this one, 
it was just like we were just like three four levels in and already it just like started to look insanely complex <laughs> really hope this game is designed by yeah i kind of hope so too So I'm guessing green are the levels we've already done. Snake Rin? Did we do that one before? So you kind of want to seal those off, don't you? Let's see what happens now. Okay. Yeah, I think I know. So that bit's all fine. Oh, not quite. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. And you can't push, uh, can't push this. I thought I was onto something then.
Try that one again, but uh, maybe I just need to block it on the other side. Oops. <laughs> Collision. I fucked that up, didn't I? I think I'd mark that up. Okay, feels like I was close to that one. Feels like I just needed to make a couple of adjustments. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what green fins? Did we do that one? Let's have a look. Kind of pointless putting them on the rotator seam because even though you know so that changes the blocks they're effectively in the corner so that would make it useless we're not sure what that did okay just made them slide hmm.
Oh wait, he's going to go in there, isn't he? Oh no, he's not. He's just going to go around it. Okay. Put the blocks on the switches. Oh, those are switches? annoying because I, yeah i feel like levels like this are just like um it's like, it's like the whole solution is just like staring at me in the face oh didn't i yeah i think i already tried that it converted them into like It transforms them into, um, oh, just leave them on there, you mean? Because I know, yeah, putting them on there transforms them into gold blocks, which make them um, uh, slide and stuff like that. Definitely made a mistake there somewhere. I don't, yeah, don't, do not get me wrong. I don't, I definitely don't dislike this level. Um, I definitely don't dislike this game. It's, uh, it is interesting. It's just, I think it actually needs, um, yeah, more time. Slide bottom blocks to top. Okay. We'll see if there's any other ones to explore um i am th i am very thankful that it's given me like all the levels to explore so we can just see how um yeah insanely difficult it gets oh my okay but okay it's not quite like uh in the last level categories but yikes So there was only another puzzle game that um, I was gonna say was uh, I was gonna say it's about this level of difficulty. I've forgotten what it's called though. It was like a sliding blocks puzzle, but you had to get like a van from one direction to the other, and you had to navigate it through um, you know moving around the road pieces, so to speak. I think it was on an, on an Amiga Power cover disc. I feel like that would rival it in terms of difficulty. So yeah, this um, uh, it's good. I'm just not doing it a service by not being being very good at it. Very like you know, very 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 ambitious. So yeah, I say this much. Good game. Probably not my cup of tea. But um, yeah, certainly very creative. And if this is public domain, because I do remember seeing this on, um, you know, the, an Assassin's uh, collection once upon a time, then yeah, great effort for, you know, a public domain game, that's for sure. Okay, I just realized we are above the hour, so I better leave it as that. Hope everyone enjoyed my mishaps with this game.